Hi, and welcome to Optimate's Smart Sensor tutorial. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate some of the smart sensor capabilities while using Optimate's evaluation model sample. In order to ease the understanding and learning process of the smart sensor, we supply a model with various geometric features when sending out an evaluation kit. The model is screwed on to a moving stage at a set location simulating work, with a, work on a conveyor belt. To learn how to work with the evaluation kit, please watch the typical workflow tutorial. Okay, so when we open the Chrome web browser, we see it automatically opens in the Live tab. We'll move to the Job Definition tab, choose Optimate Example, and it takes a few seconds for the data to appear since it's now scanning a new profile. And we see we already have we see we already have measurements on the profile. Now we're going to go through the setup we have on the optimum example, explain what we did, and how it can be modified easily. So we'll start with the triggers. The first field is a trigger type. You see we can choose different methods of how to tell the sensor to start measuring a new profile. There's a direction trigger external trigger, distance, and height trigger. For demonstrating with the evaluation kit, we did the simplest trigger, which is the direction trigger, meaning with every change of stage direction, a new trigger is sent, and data for the new profile is collected. The next field is direction. You could have it collecting data in ascending or descending, or in any change of direction. We will use any change, meaning that in any change of direction, it will start to gather a new profile. You could also add a delay to the trigger. So when a trigger is sent, the sensor starts collecting data only after a defined time or after a certain number of points or distance. For now, we'll turn the delay off. And you could choose also the duration of the measurement, meaning the second it starts measuring a profile, how long will the data be collected for? You can also choose the duration, the duration as we said, in direction, time, distance, or points. As we said, there are default parameters, which is in trigger type which is in trigger type direction and direction any change. The delay will be off and duration will also be off, meaning that in, at every, when the stage ch changes a direction, a new profile will start being collected and the profile just finished will be displayed. So we see here on the screen that the job comes with three measurements as default. We show here a height measurement, a radius measurement, and an angle measurement. So let's see what happens if we change the height of the step by inserting a small object like a Johnson block. We see that the gray line changes according to the new height which is measured in live and of course the height result changes as well. The green line is the original profile which we created features and pass fail results according to it. So let's see how we can modify the pass fail criteria of the step height. We'll press the Features tab that will show us the features that are already on the job profile. As we see, there are boxes on the profile which determine the anchors of the features. We have a circle, step height, and an angle. So let's expand dimensions on the left. We see there are three dimensions. We have the angle dimension, which is about 120 degrees. We have the step height dimension. D2, which is about three millimeters, and we have the radius dimension, which is almost three millimeters as well. So what happens if I wanna, we see when we expand the dimension, we see that the step height feature, the pass value is three millimeters, and the tolerances is 0.1 millimeters, negative and positive. So if I wanna have, if I wanna put the eight millimeters, within the tolerance, 
the, within the tolerance, I'll have it positive and negative. Actually, the negative could be 0 0.1 millimeter, and the positive can be 5.5 millimeters. So now let's minimize this. I'll do save job. Go back to setup and see if in the live measurement now where the step is 8 millimeters after we inserted the Johnson block, if it will have a pass criteria or fail. Here we see the length, the height is zero is 8.2 millimeters and it's a pass, it's pass. It, in green means it's pass. We also see here that on the bottom we have two measurements of profiles. Now three, three passes and zero fails. Meaning that we're able to change the criteria well. Now if you go back into the features, what happens if I wanna move the the uh, anchor of the radi of the circle so if i move it here in the sample we have we always have two features that are the same and the third is different so over here we have step height of 3 and 3 in the right in the right step and on the left in the middle and left step we have 4 and 2 4 from top to middle and 2 from middle to bottom and also radius, we have here about three, millim three millimeters. The middle one is also three millimeters. And we see the right one is about two and a half millimeters. So that will give me a fail. Since the tolerance here in the dimensions is three millimeters plus minus 0 0.1 millimeters. You could always change the tolerance there. And after I save the new anchor, it will change the job. It will change the job according to, accordingly. Now, if I want to add a new feature, let's say I want to add a new step height. You here on the bottom, we have many features here. So I'll add the source. Source number one. That's going to be anchor of line number one. Now I'll add source number two, anchor of line number two. Very good. Now if I go to the dimensions, dimensions actually what the pass fail. I need to give you a pass fail criteria. So I'll choose length because we're measuring length and height. I'll choose step height F8, which is feature number eight. And then the criteria, I'll give it four millimeters plus minus 0 0.1 millimeters. And minimize it. And we see here, it will be a pass since it's actually four millimeters. So if I zoom out a little, again, as we said, the two left features are always the same. We did this in order, and the right feature it will always be slightly different. We did this to simulate an assembly line. So the step here is four millimeters. And from the middle to the bottom, if I move that a little, we will see that the step is almost two mil is two millimeters. Now it's gonna be in red now since it's failed because our tolerance is four millimeters plus minus zero point one millimeters. So of course that will be fail. So I can move it now back. Also the radius here, we see it's three millimeters in the middle, three meter, three millimeters on the left, 2.92, and on the right it's about two and a half millimeters. So if I didn't save anything I could go back to setup. We see here the asterisk near optimate example means that there were changes done on the job, but they weren't saved yet. If I'll save the job, the asterisk will go away. 
and the job will be saved in the database as optimate example.